mechanic is the one who left with the money. Na huyu mechanic akabaki na hiyo pesa. And it was good money. Na ilikuwa ni pesa nzuri. And because he did not remember the vow he made. Lakini kwa sababu hakukumbuka ile nadhiri ambayo alitoa. The evil started talking to him. Telling him these people will never be released from prison. And he believed the voices of the enemy. And he decided to build a beautiful house. And when he completed the house. The people who were jailed for many many years. I think there was a program and they, 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 they were removed from jail. And they were free to go. And they came back to the uh, mechanic. And he asked for the money. But the mechanic could not give the money. And when he, they started blessing that mechanic. And the mechanic could not tell anybody about the money that they had gotten from uh, selling a student car na huyu mechanic hakuweza kumwambia yote kuhusu ile pesa ambayo alipata kutoka kwa gari lililoibiwa. He could just keep quiet by himself. Alikuwa tu anajinyamazia. But one time he was gone down. Lakini siku moja akaweza kupigwa risasi. And he went to Kenyatta Hospital. Na akapelekwa kwa hospitali ya Kenyatta. And he stayed there for some months. Na akakaa huko kwa miezi kadhaa. By God grace God filled. Lakini kwa neema ya Mungu akapona. And he went back to work. Na akarudi kazini. After some time. Baada ya the people came back wale watu wakarudi and ask the, this mechanic na akamuuliza yule mechanic are you going to honor the vows that you made utaweza kuheshimu ile nadhiri ambayo ulitoa and he could not honor lakini hakuweza and he was gone to death na akaweza kupigwa risasi hadi kufa and he left young uh, young family na aka it is good to uh, honor uh, our vows. Ni vyema kuheshimu nadhiri zetu. And therefore this is why David was na, remembering the vows that he made. Na kwa hapa hapa ndivyo kwa hivyo ndivyo Daudi alikuwa anakumbuka zile nadhiri alikuwa ametoa. Uh, to his friend Jonathan. Kwa rafiki yake Jonathan. And he wanted to make good of it. Na alikuwa anafataka aifanye ikuwe nzuri. And then he inquires about this uh, Jonathan. Na kwa hivyo alikuwa anahitaji akaumuuliza kuhusu Jonathan. And the Bible says in second kings uh, in second samuel second samuel bibi inasema katika samueli wa pili uh, chapter 11 from 1 to 13 sura ya 11 moja moja hadi 13 we can you can need on your own but i'll for a phrase nida unaweza soma peke yako lakini nitaweza nitataja mistari david asks is there anyone still left in the house of Saul? Kuna yote ambaye amebaki katika nyumba ya Sauli? At whom I can show kindness uh, for Jonathan sake? Ambaye ninaweza onyesha ukarimu kwa niaba ya Jonathan. Uh, just put yourself in a, in a, maybe for say the uh, uh, sasa jiweke kwa viatu vya Mephibosheth. You remember that Mephibosheth was a cripple. Sasa kubuka ya kwamba alikuwa kirema huyu Mephibosheth. He has spent his whole life uh, hiding. Alikuwa ametumia muda wake wote kama mahalikuwa kunaitwa. He Lodiba. even decided to marry and he got a son called Mika. Na sasa aliamua hata kuwa akapata kijana alikuwa He had Mika. lost hope. Alikuwa amepoteza tumaini. And uh, one day David found out that there was a son of Jonathan. Na siku moja Daudi akagundua ya kwamba kulikuwa na mtoto wa Jonathan. Who was still living? Abaya alikuwa bado hai. And he sent for a, uh, a soldier to go and get to the Mephibosheth. Na akamtuma askari aende amchukue Mephibosheth. From Lodiba. Kutoka huko Lodiba. Uh, Lodiba was not a very good place. Lodiba hakukuwa mahali pazuri sana. It was a place full of uh, uh, it was dirty. Kulikuwa mahali pacha. The roads were not very good. Ndio hazikuwa nzuri sana. The houses were not good. Hata nyumba hazikuwa nzuri. But this one day. Lakini siku hii moja Jonathan was uh, 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 was remembered. Mephibosheth akakumbukwa uh, by God. Na Mungu and David sent uh, a, a soldier to go and uh, uh, bring uh, this Mephibosheth to the king. 
Na Daudi akamtuma askari adamlete huyu mtoto mmefika. Because uh, David wanted to show kindness uh, on behalf of his friend Jonathan. Kwa sababu Daudi alikuwa anataka kuonyesha ukarimu kwa niaba ya And he was brought. And I think many things were happening in uh, Mephibosheth mind. Na najua ya kwamba kuna mambo mengi yalikuwa yanaendelea katika mawazo ya Mephibosheth. Remember they were hiding because they were fearing they were going to be killed. Ikumbuka alikuwa anajificha kwa sababu ya kuogopa kuuliwa. Uh, but one day lakini siku moja God remembered Mephibosheth. Mungu akamkumbuka Mephibosheth. And he called Ziba. Na akaita Ziba to come. Ili aje. And he said, na akasema, oh, whatever he has came to the source property. Na kila chochote ambacho alikuwa ni mali ya Sauli. To take care of it. Aweze kushughulikia. And all the profit that he was going to get. Na ile faida yote ambayo atapata. He was supposed to give to Mephibosheth. Alikuwa anafaa kumpatia Mephibosheth. And Mephibosheth Seth could not believe it. Na Mephibosheth hakuweza kuamini. Because he was believing that he was lower than a dead dog. Kwa sababu alikuwa anafikiria ya kwamba alikuwa chini kiwango cha chini hata kuliko mbwa. My brother my sister. Dudugu na dada yangu. Just like Mephibosheth. Kama tu Mephibosheth. You and I may be broken. Unaweza kuwa umevujika sana. Just the way maybe some was broken. Kama jinsi Mephibosheth alikuwa amevujika. And there is nothing maybe you think that they deserve in this life. Lakini hakuna kitu una na hakuna chochote unaweza ona kizuri katika hiyo. Maybe you are still living in Rodiba. Labda bado unaishi Rodiba. Maybe you are still living in very that low life. Labda unaishi maisha hayo ya chini sana. Today I came to tell you. Leo nimekuja kukuambia. That the king has sent for you. Ya kwamba mfalme amekutumania. Today Leo and he is offering inheritance. Na na anapatia na urithi. Uh, that was for that was for forfeited by Adam. Aba ulikuwa uliweza kuondolewa na Adam. And he is offering to adopt you. Na na weza anataka ukwe mtoto wake. Into his own family. Katika familia yake. Where you are going to eat and drink. Mahali utakula na kukunywa. At his table. Uh, kwa meza yake. I do not know why you are choosing to live in Lodiba. Kwa nini sijui ni kwa nini umechagua kuishi huko Rodiba? When you can choose to live in Paris. Ili hali unaweza ishi katika nyumba ya Mungu. Na mfalme wako. Why are you choosing to die? Kwa nini unachagua kufa? Instead of living. Badala ya kuishi. In the presence of the king. Katika uwepo wake mfalme. I can tell you. Nimekuja kukwambia. That there is joy in the Paris. Ya kwamba kuna furaha katika kazi ya mfalme. I can tell you. Nimekuja kukwambia. That there is abundance in the Paris. Ya kwamba kuna furaha katika There is peace, is peace in the Paris. Kuna amani katika kazi ya Paris. Oh, I to tell you. Nimekuja kukwambia. There is fellowship in the Paris. Kuna ushirika katika kasri ya Paris. I'm happy for Seth. Na mifebo to live in the Paris. Aliamua kuishi katika kasri ya Paris. Where do you want to live? Unataka kuishi wapi? God is saying he is ready to change your story. Mungu anasema ako tayari kubadilisha historia yako. Me before Seth chose to become part of the family of the king. Mbasade akaamua kukua kama sehemu ya mfalme. What family do you want to choose to be part of? Unataka kuishi katika jamii gani? The king is saying today. Mfalme anasema siku ya leo. That I will restore to you. Ya kwamba atakuinua. What you have lost? Na atakurejeshea kile ambacho umepata. Kile ambacho mpanzi wamekula. The caterpillars. Kile ambacho viwavi na wahasiri wamekula. God is able to restore you today. Mungu ataweza kukurejeshea leo. Maybe you are not saved. Labda hujaokoka. God is calling you to come to the family of Christ. Mungu anakuita ukaja katika jamii ya Kristo. God is saying Mungu anayasema that is going to give you Holy Spirit. Akwapa atakupatia Roho Mtakatifu to watch over you. Ili akuangalie and also other significant, significant others. Na hata katika mambo mengine. I will feed you. Atakulisha. Uh, you are going to fellowship with him. Utakuwa na ushirika na yeye. Each and every day. Kila siku. Just accept the gift of God. Kubali tu kipawa cha Mungu. And do not return to Rodiba. Na usirudi tena Rodiba. Accept the gift of God. Kubali kipawa cha Mungu. God is able to change your life. Mungu anaweza badilisha maisha yako. Leave Rodiba become the son of God. Odoka Rodiba na ufanyike mwana wa Mungu. 
You have to decide by yourself. Ni wewe utajiamulia. If you want God to change your story. Kama unataka Mungu abadilishe hadithi yako. You have to decide by yourself. Lazima ujiamulie. Let us stand up. Wachani tusimame. Because this is the day. Kwa sababu hii ndio siku. The Lord of God want to change your story. Hapa Mungu anataka Bwana kubadilisha hadithi yako. God was able to change the story of Hannah. Mungu aliweza kubadilisha hadithi yake Hannah. God was able to change the story of Joseph. Mungu aliweza kubadilisha historia. God was able to change the story story of Elizabeth Mungu aliweza kubadilisha historia ya Elizabeth God was able to change the story of the four lepers Mungu aliweza kubadilisha hadithi ya wenye wenye ukoma wa He was also able to change the story of the Israelites Aliweza pia kubadilisha story ya hadithi ya Waisraeli He was able to change the story of a Shunammite woman Aliweza kubadilisha hadithi ya mwana wa Shunemu He is also able to change your story today Anaweza pia badilisha hadithi ya God is not limited. Mungu hajazuiliwa. His hand is not too short to save. Mkono wake sio mfupi sana ushiriki. The Bible says in Matthew 16:26. Biblia inasema katika Mathayo 16:26. But you can have the whole world. Kama kwa hapa unaweza kuwa na dunia yote. And yet you lose your own life. Na uweza kupoteza maisha yako. Why should you have the whole world? Kwa nini ukuwe na dunia nzima? And yet you lose your own life. Na upoteze maisha yako. Why do you choose to go to Rodeba? Kwa nini umechagua kukaa Rodeba? God is calling you one of us Mungu anaita kila mmoja wetu to come and eat in uh, this family of the king Kuja tukule katika jamii ya mfalme Where you have abundance Hapapo utakuwa na utende Where you never lack Hapapo hutaikosa kitu Where you will never leave you nor forsake you Hapapo hata wai kuondokea na kukupenda Where you fight your battle because he is a man of war Hapapo mahali atapigana vita vyako kwa sababu yeye ni mtu wa vita God is asking why can't you follow this God Mungu anakuuliza kwa nini usifuate huyu Mungu And he is going to change your story. Na atabadilisha hadithi yako. Let us pray. Wacha nituombe. If you are there and you want God to change your story.